Hey, it's Dan Jones, owner of Carolina Real Estate Experts, and thank you for stopping by the video blog today. I want to talk to you today what it could cost you to choose the wrong agent to get your property sold. So I want to give you two examples that we've seen recently, and it hurts me to see people selling their house, losing money in such a deep seller's market. So the first example we saw the other day, it was an, a property that was listed for 400000 and we looked at it and said, this is not a $400,000 house. It must have smoke damage. There must be foundation issues. Something has to be wrong with the house. We found out there was nothing wrong with the house. So we looked into it. It did get multiple offers and we followed it until it closed. And this thing closed at $515,000. With all the upgrades it had, it had to, it could have easily been listed 545, 50 with the square footage it easily would have appraised. So the house closed at 515. How much money did those sellers lose? And we're talking north of $25,000 because it looked like the house was vacant, really good condition, but it was listed anywhere from 25 to $35,000 less than where it should have and or 135,000, excuse me, but sold for less, 25, $35,000 less than what it could have. Something else that we saw the other day that just drove me up the wall is a seller we were actually talking to and there was an agent here locally that gave them the price that was probably about 80, 85,000 higher where they really needed to be. And what happened is they dropped the price, dropped the price, dropped the price three times. And by then, guess what? People think something's wrong with your property. The long, especially in this market, the longer it sits on the market. Finally, we got a phone call. Hey, can you guys help us get this property sold? We've been on the market for 80 days. We need to get the property sold. So what do we do? We went over, did our thing, got the home back on the market. And every agent that showed the property, them and their clients, what was their feedback? Well, the house was on the market for 80, 80, 90 days before something must be wrong. So they had to take price reductions. In the meantime, they never told anybody this. They were making payments on a new house in Winston-Salem, new construction of about three grand a month. So by the time this thing closed, they had five months worth of payments, right? So you're looking at about $15,000 plus their current mortgage, right? This is on the new property plus their current mortgage of $2,200 a month. So we're looking at about $25,000, $26,000 because somebody wanted to overprice their house versus pricing it where it needed to be to have the market chase that property, not that property chase the market, right? So be really careful when it comes to choosing who is going to list your property and price it to sell in a very deep seller's market. So thank you for stopping by the video blog today. Please don't be that person who chooses the wrong agent to sell your property. They could be your best friend. They could be who, it doesn't matter. Make sure you do your due diligence to make sure you do not leave money on the table. Thanks for stopping by. I look forward to meeting you in the future. Talk to you soon.